Is Kelvin Joseph in a different kind of trouble? Mike Fisher reporting on your Dallas Cowboys. Dallas ready to go at the Chargers on Saturday night, preseason game number two. And Kelvin Joseph, the second year cornerback, figures prominently in that game. The question is, does he figure prominently in this team's plans following the game? Straight dope, no bullshit. Let's go. Jerry Jones recently pulled aside the embattled young cornerback Kelvin Joseph to administer some, administer some what we'll call sage and grandfatherly advice. Clean it up, Jerry told him nicely. Kelvin Joseph, the 2021 second round pick, has done that in recent weeks during training camp in terms of behavioral. No issues there. Now somebody needs to pull aside boss man fat to remind him to also clean it up when it comes to like, covering somebody. Politically speaking, no team wants to cut a 22-year-old second-round player on a cheap contract. That would be a couple of things. That would be, one, an admission of an awful organizational mistake, and two, would also qualify as a major waste of a resource. But as we go into... Game two preseason Chargers coming off a loss at Denver in which Joseph started and played poorly. Let's start ourselves crunching the numbers. Trayvon Diggs and Anthony Brown locked in as the starting corners. There's two. Same thing at safety. Curse, Malik Hooker, and I'm pretty darn sure Donovan Wilson. There's the safety. There's five. Now you start approaching the final 50th man, 53 man roster issue later this month. You include in this juggling the slot corner, starting slot corner, Jordan Lewis. Represents a little bit of a wild card. He's dealing with uh, the, the hamstring growing thing, but he talks about hoping to play in week one of the regular season. So if that's true, then there's no IR for him. That's six. C.J. Goodwin, special team star. Not, a, not actually really a defensive back technically, although that's what he kind of plays. That's not what he's good at, but he is a dominant force on special teams. That's seven. Rookie fifth rounder Bland, the cornerback, has shockingly earned a spot. I don't know how he can unlearn it. That's eight. At safety. Nobody wants to cut the UDFA rookie Marquise Bell, friend of the show. That's nine. You could stop there. There's plenty of teams that don't keep 10 defensive backs. And even if Dallas wants to keep 10, what about Nashawn Wright, who also struggled at Denver? Uh, defensive backs uh, Israel Mukwamu. And another special team guy, safety, Tyler Coyle. Kelvin Joseph hasn't outplayed any of them. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, and then Kelvin Joseph's 13. The numbers start to get tight. Uh, Joseph did, of course, contribute late last year, and then the offseason was connected to the fatal drive-by shooting in Dallas. He's since been cleared of any wrongdoing there in the eyes of police, if not the NFL. But Jerry Jones's lecture still stands. Clean it up. Now as a player. And yet, interestingly, even without his off-field perils in Dallas, Kelvin Joseph's roster spot in Dallas is now also in peril. Thank you for subscribing to what we do here on The Fish Report. Thank you for reading CowboysSI.com. We'll keep you posted on all things Cowboys. Straight dope. No bullshit. Fish out.